Okay, I've sewn around the nose and I added a little bit of stuffing inside and I just shoved it in with a chopstick. What you want to do next is to take the tip of the nose, which is going to be the bottom, whatever it's called, you know, that thing in the middle of the nose, and shove it in and pin it down. Then the kind of the nostrils, I will shove them in to become nostrils. What I want to do with my thread... Uh, wait a minute, I made a little error. Do, 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 do. Okay. What I want to do with my thread is first catch any fabric between the nostrils. So kind of give them like, um, like you know, a, a cow earring thing, whatever those are called. Cow earring, cow nose ring, yeah, that's more like it. Let's see how that, whoops, did it work? It worked. And then this little part of the nose just sew it down using the slip stitch or ladder stitch that I showed you before. I'm going to poke in his nostrils a bit more, give him a bit more definition. And secure him a bit better. There we go, a nose. I'm gonna go on and finish off his face. Oh God, look at my face, my hideous face. I survived, why did you give me a face like that? Yeah, this is Mr. Negative's face. Um, Basically for the black parts, I just went over with the black thread back and forth and did kind of a satin stitch, which is just, you know, going over the same place again. Um, for this part, I sewed on a little bit of white fleece, but you could just use white thread and just go back and forth to get this effect. There. All right. <clears throat> 
So the next step is to turn Mr. Negative inside out again. Look at his face from the inside. And kind of tuck in his limbs. Because we're now going to put in the back. The back piece you pretty much just pin on. Like you like follow the parts that you've already sewn. And again, make sure the good side is on the inside. It does get tricky because his appendages are going to be all in here. You want to make sure everything matches up. If um, one side seems longer than the other side, then you might want to recut your fabric or Maybe your fabric is stretchy and that's why things are a little bit out of alignment. You just stretch them back. Okay. Here we got him in a box. Now which side is his bottom side? <clears throat> because actually when you sew at the bottom, you want to sew just a little ways in and start again over here and sew a little ways in. You want to leave a hole at the bottom so you can turn him inside out again. Make sure this hole isn't too small because remember all his limbs need to get through. Another note about sewing is you don't want to sew this whole thing in one go. You'll want to sew, 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 sew and stop here and kind of start again. and. I mean this if you're doing it by machine. If you're doing it by hand, it's not a big deal. The reason you do this is to ensure a nice clean edge. Because I've tried doing it in one go and it turns out into a curve. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to go sew him. Okay, so I finished sewing up his back. And as you can see, I left a hole in the bottom to get his limbs out. But first, before we turn him inside out, you want to clip the corners like before. Okay, so now you want to start by one at a time yanking out his limbs. Where does this go? If you have a delicate fabric, then Watch out that this fabric doesn't deteriorate too much. Mr. Negative. Very deflated. Okay, you want to make sure the corners are all <clears throat> are all perked up. Then you can begin stuffing him. Just take your stuffing and stuff him. Remember a little at a time and pay special attention to the corners. Make sure they get enough stuffing.
Okay, now my negative man is sufficiently stuffed. And let me give you a pro tip. <clears throat> you see how sometimes if you're using a fuzzy fabric like fleece, like I am, you'll get these, you'll get fuzz that gets trapped in the seams. So what you basically do is you take your needle or pin and just scratch it a bit to get all of that fuzz out. It hides the seam and makes everything look, well, seamless. Anyways, now we're going to sew up Mr. Negative's bum. It's basically a ladder stitch or slip stitch, as I showed you before. So get your needle and thread, not one of the ends, and stick your needle in inside the fabric so that the knot isn't showing. What you want to do is you want to fold the fabric so that it has a little bit of seam allowance. See these two together, I should pin it up. And then you want to do a ladder stitch along the bottom. So I'm going to stick my needle in the opposite fabric. Take it out again. Making sure I tuck the fabric in so that it's folded inside. And do it again on the opposite fabric. Okay, I'm almost done. <clears throat> but while I sew, I want to add a bit of stuffing back in there. Just to plump it up a bit. It's your last chance. smooshing it to just feel that there's no lumps. Okay, I've made my final stitch. And now I'm going to knot it, like I showed you before. I'm going to take a little bit of thread <clears throat> with my needle. Make a loop. Put my needle through that loop. Then slowly Close the previous loop, resulting in another loop. Do that thing again. Put my thumb over it and pull. And we have a knot that's really close to the fabric. Then I'll insert my needle <clears throat> close to that knot, take it out somewhere else, pull it tight, and snip it. I'm going to just scratch over that knot so it's hidden in the fuzz. Okay. There we go. We have Mr. Negative. Ah! I hope you enjoy. Remember to post or post about your results using this tutorial on Starman.net or email me at metroidhat.hotmail.com. Bye!